Hello, everybody. I have missed you. <laughs> I know you guys heard my voice twice yesterday, but I'm back. <laughs> um, so I'm using a molded stone from the molds from Happy Dot and Company on Etsy. If you are wanting to try to make your own stones, visit their their uh, Etsy shop and also on Amazon for people in the States, I believe. Um, you can buy all of their molds. This one is a four and a half inch approximately um, mold that I used for this stone. I've painted it black with two coats of black paint and I've used a compass to make a frame a, cir a circle and then a bigger circle so that I have a nice frame and now I will create what we are making today which is of course a Care Bear. Now if you're not a fan of Good Luck Bear you can always do a different symbol on the belly badge and change the color. It's very easy but I'm gonna try really hard to make this look as much like a Care Bear, um, like the original ones, because their, their faces have changed over the years. So I want to make it like the ones that I used to watch on TV when I was little. Um, so if you also were a fan of Care Bears and had a Care Bear, please leave it in the comments. I want to hear about it. Did you have Good Luck Bear? Um, he was a male and he had an Irish accent at one point, but in some movies or shows, uh, he didn't have that accent anymore. Um, but uh, he is known for being able to create his four leaf clovers and wish luck upon people. But he also um, has an exceptionally bright and positive outlook on life. So I thought that was very cool, but even cooler when I was reading about him on Care Bear Wikipedia. Um, it also says that his personality is fitting to his horoscope, which just happens to be Aries. And that's what I am. So I thought that was like really super cool. So yeah, there's some useless information for you all. <laughs> but like I said, if you're not a fan of the lucky uh, Care Bear, then you can always do one of the other ones. Just change up the belly badge and change up the colors because they pretty much have the same faces except for the grumpier ones or what have you. You can just look it up and, and change the face. Um, but this one, we're going to have uh, a few four-leaf clovers around the outer uh, edge of the frame and of course this is going to be very green by the time we're done. So I've sketched it on with pencil. Make sure that you get it right like you're comfortable with it. Don't even mess with the paint until you're ready. So I've worked on it for a little while. Um, this clearly has been sped up so that it doesn't take us three hours to create a Care Bear. Um, but Take your time, sketch it on the way you want it, and then find your gold paint and cover the places that keep the stuff that you want and get rid of the stuff you don't want. So sometimes I just go in and erase the stuff I don't want once the gold is dry. Um, but usually I end up just covering what I don't want with black paint, which is what I'm doing now. So I'm getting rid of everything I don't want, keeping everything I do want, and making sure it looks the way I want it to look. I'm going to take a step back and maybe even go ask the kids, like, do you guys know what a Care Bear is? <laughs> How does this look? Does this look like a Care Bear? Then if it's ready, I can start adding some color to it. <laughs> so let me know in the comments for sure if, if you had this bear or if you had a different one and if it brought back like some beautiful memories for you. I think Care Bears are really cute, but they're not as popular as they used to be. Same with those Cabbage Patch Kids. Those were really popular too. <laughs> uh, but you could always tell when it wasn't a real one. And, and their faces have changed dramatically. I painted one. I do have a Cabbage Patch Kid tutorial if you want to look it up in my, uh, in my list. 
it, the faces have definitely changed on those as well. It's kind of scary, <laughs> almost like Chucky dolls. So I know he has eyebrows, so I had to pencil in those so he doesn't look funny. And there we go. I've let it dry. It's ready to fill with color. The first color I'm going to do, I'm just going to do one color at a time, okay? So it's easier for me to do this. I'm going to start with white. So anywhere on the bear that is white, I'm going to do that first. And I'm going to use a small dotting tool. You can use toothpicks. You can use the end of a pen that doesn't work anymore. Um, but you can also get dotting tools on Amazon or uh, even where, where you can buy nail polish and stuff like that. Uh, Sally's or online. There's so many places you can get dotting tools. And sometimes they're called nail dotting tools, but you can use them to use paint on a rock, just so you know. So everything that needed white is getting white. And then I can add the next color, which is going to be bright green. I'm going to go with bright green and lime green today for this bear. So all the white is done. There's my lime green and a, my bright green. I actually just used these two with the daffodil uh, tutorial that I posted yesterday. <laughs> so I'm doing the, the bright green because it's, it's a bit darker than the lime. So I'm just kind of doing the bright green in some areas, the hearts in the hands, the, I'm kind of like where it would be shaded. So it's a bit darker under the arm or under the chin. The eyebrows are darker around the ears. There's a little bit of a darker line. Um, so everywhere that I see this darker green, when I look at photos of Lucky Care Bear, um, the Good Luck Bear, everywhere I see darker green, that's where I'm putting darker green. And then the rest will be simply filled in with lime, lime green, and hopefully it'll look okay. <laughs> it's going out of focus a little bit because of my giant hand in the way, so I apologize for that. Uh, the center four-leaf clover on the belly badge is dark green. So everything that needed to be dark green is dark green, but I'm going to save the eyes and the nose for after. And we're going to, of course, use a little bit of pink in there in his mouth for his tongue. But right now, this is pretty simple. Put on your favorite show. Listen to something on Spotify or Audible or, you know, something that you can pay attention to and dot mindlessly at the same time. It takes a while to fill this in with all these little dots. Um, so it's always good to, you know, grab yourself a drink and and get your mind set for it because you're basically filling it in you know you're just filling it all in with color and none of my dots are perfect sizes uh, I'm literally just filling it in with color that's all I'm doing and that head took me forever <laughs> so I didn't make you watch me do the whole thing um, but now I'm going around the outside with a really tiny dotting needle which you can still use a toothpick for I went around the outside of the nose, um, up near the gold. I did dark green, and then I did light green in the center. And for the eyes right there, I did light green up halfway, and then dark green for the rest up closer to the tops of the eyes. So if you look up pictures of this bear, you might see kind of like that. Um, there's also like a big sparkle of white in his eyes that I have to add once his eyes are dry. So you're gonna see me add a big dot of gold and then afterwards, once that gold's dry, I'm gonna add a big dot of white on top of the gold, but I'm still gonna see like the ring of gold around it. Um, and it's just gonna be like a, like a sparkle in his eyes. You'll see that afterwards. So I just used pink, it's just called pink. Um, you use whatever pink you want. I feel like it doesn't look the same color in person 
as it is on this video, but I could be wrong. It could be just the way it looks on my phone while I'm editing it. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't look as pink as what it does in real life. So there's the gold dots where I'm going to be putting the white over top. I just put them in the eyes. Um, and now I'm going to, I actually messed this up and put it in the wrong spot. Um, but I'm going to make some little simple little four leaf clovers around the outside and I'm going to try and make them hopefully but it's not going to be perfect but space them apart as evenly as possible around the outside so I try and do top bottom left right and then go in between all of those in the centers and this is what I'm doing for my four leaf clover I do two dots and then I drag those dots down to the center while it's still nice and wet and then we have like a simple four leaf clover and there's a little stem. So that's what I'm going to be doing around the outside. You'll watch me do that a faster way <laughs> because I don't want to bore everyone, but I'm doing it quickly. Um, now I will be adding some watercolor. I hope you guys aren't sick of watercolor because I don't know if I ever will be just like I'm not sick of gold ever. <laughs> or dots. I love dots. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be adding some two different kinds of metallic watercolor or glittery watercolor. Uh, one for the ring, the frame part, and also a different one that has a different kind of sparkle to it uh, for the background of the Care Bear. So where you see all that black there behind them, I want it to sparkle a little bit because that's just what makes me happy. <laughs> I should really post pictures of my outdoors right now. We have so much snow and it just makes me miserable, especially when like the first day of spring is coming <laughs> and it does not look that way out there at all. Okay, I'll, I'll just, you know, get over it. <laughs> spring will be here soon it will melt and we may get flooding but that's okay so I've put his white dots over top of the gold I can still see a ring of gold around the white you might not be able to tell but now he's got a sparkle in his eyes he's so happy and so lucky and wants to share it with everyone look at how happy he looks I just want to pinch his little cheeks <laughs> I think that's what Jackson said too. I think he told me he wanted to pinch his cheeks. He's got big chubby cheeks. So I'm using some watercolor from Yuli. Uh, Yuli watercolors on Etsy. Um, I could have probably used some of mine as well, the kind that I make because I have similar colors, but I just love Yuli and I love watching it sizzle. Um, so I'm putting three different colors there's like a yellowish green, kind of like a gold. That's what I'm putting on now. I'm going to be adding a little bit of a darker green and then uh, an even darker one. So there's three different shades of green that I'm kind of putting around the outside here in this ring. Don't use too much water because it's going to run. But if it runs, it's not a big deal. Just let it dry and then paint over like the black part will be where it's mostly noticeable um, if it ran. So just paint over the black where, where it ran. It's really easy. Just make sure it's dry first. Always make sure it's dry. So you'll be able to see that outer color changing ring better later when it's resined. I'll show it to you, I promise, because it's worth looking at. It looks beautiful. You can't really tell the magic that I've created <laughs> in some of this video, but I promise I'll show it off at the very end. Um, so now I'm just fixing my outer ring, making sure that the gold is all nice and bold. After working on the Care Bear for so long, um, I wanted to make sure that we have a very solid frame as well. Now I'm doing the same kind of dial effect that I always do with my frames where I do like little pin striping around the dial and I just try to do the same thing that I did with the clovers. I try to do them uh, the same distance apart from one another. I usually start top, bottom, left and right 
or north, west, south, and east. And then I go in between those lines and in between the next set of lines uh, until I have pinstripes. And you can stop at any time. Um, but I'm, I always keep going until I think it looks okay. And sometimes those pinstripes are really close together when I'm done. But they're, they're, it's easier to get them uh, close to the same distance apart from one another when you do it that way. It's just a little trick. A little trick I do. Um, so also, if you, if you don't use metallic watercolors, that's okay. You can just use um, hologram, hologram 2796, which is a folk art acrylic paint. And it's just glitter, but it has like a tealish green hue to it. And it looks absolutely beautiful on top of black paint. Or there's also folk art dragonfly glaze, which is beautiful glittering uh, acrylic paint. And that will do the trick. It will do the same thing that I've done here, um, except for mine changes to three different colors. So you can find three different colors of dragonfly glaze. You can do that too. You don't have to use metallic watercolors, just so you know. Just have fun with it. That's all I really want. <laughs> so I'm outlining certain areas with black, um, like where his hands come out of the frame. It's like he's kind of popping through um, like a hole. He's coming out to say, hi, surprise. I'm going to give you some good luck. That's what he's saying. <laughs> but I was going to do it in an Irish accent, but I didn't want to scare anybody away. Um, but yeah, he's just popping out to say hi. So I had to separate his hands from that frame and outline the black there. Um, also where his arm is up by his face, I outlined that with black. And now I've done a gold bigger dot in the center of each four leaf clover or in between each four leaf clover. And then I've done like four or five little dots with a tiny little needle. You can see there's like four or five dots on either side of the big dot. And then I'm also going to put a gold dot in the center of each four leaf clover as well. So if I skip that part and you didn't see it, I will be having a gold dot in the center of those four leaf clovers. I don't want to forget anything, you guys. Now I still have that black background behind him. So I'm going to use a different um, type of watercolor from Yuli. Um, and it's one of her dot cards. So it's, it's this lollipop dot card here. Um, and I'm using like a greenish colored dot of, of watercolor paint and it's super glittery. It's totally different from the glittery water paint that I put around the ring in that frame. It's totally different. I think there's like a, a different size of glitter possibly, but you can see it's different. Um, and it looks totally different when it's dry and it looks totally different once I seal it with resin. So I can't wait to show it to you, uh, covered in resin. That's going to be my favorite part as usual. Um, so I'm making sure that this sizzles here and, and goes where it's supposed to go. And I might dab it and fix it and, and make sure that only parts that are supposed to be glittering are glittering. Um, but just use a little bit of water. Don't use too much. And if you're using those water pens or water brushes, uh, they usually use too much water for what we're trying to do. So use a regular paintbrush and just dip it in a little bit of distilled water or bottled water even. Um, and uh, yeah, just so that you can control the amount of water a little bit better. So guys, this is ready and I'm going to show you a little bit of stuff that I have at my desk as I resin my Care Bear. I have a beautiful uh, Santorini stone with a gorgeous, colorful uh, metallic watercolor yin yang. Um, I just love yin yang and I love the meaning behind them and with uh, needing balance and and all that stuff. So here's a beautiful color changing paw print. Um, and it's kind of in the middle of a, I guess, a flower, you could call it. <laughs> um, I like making those pinstripe petals 
all the time. Um, this is a set of my color changing watercolors that I'm going to be adding to my shop today along with the Care Bear and um, a couple of other things. And, and what you get is uh, a set of 10 paint buttons. They're not just dots, they're bigger. <laughs> they are paint buttons. And you can make all sorts of beautiful color changing rocks with uh, with these colors here. Um, they look so different in different lights. You'd, you'd be very, very surprised. Um, and they always look best on top of matte black paint uh, when it's dry, of course. I'm wondering if I could get your opinion, guys. I bought a couple of these off of Etsy, and I'm wondering if you want to watch me paint one in a tutorial. Let me know in the comments. But here he is. Look at how happy he looks after his resin bath. He's very happy. And I feel luckier somehow. <laughs> He's so shiny and colorful and bright. And my husband knew right away what he was, who he was, and said he looks great. My kids think he looks great. Let me know in the comments what you think. Was this too much of a challenge? Are the dots too much for you? Would you rather paint this instead of dot it? Let me know. Let me know what you think. Are you going to paint a different one? Are you going to choose a different bear? I want to hear about it. Oh, and I forgot. Look at this ring. Look at the, the dial that I created and the color change in it. Also the background glitter, how it's totally different. Totally different from the, uh, the frame, the dial that we did. This is beautiful and I can't wait to put it in my Etsy shop for someone lucky. Here's a still photo so that you can stare at him a little bit longer. I had so much fun. I'm so glad to be back chatting with you guys. Um, and I'm very thankful. So thank you to those of you who have waited around for a couple of weeks to hear my voice again. I, I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for subscribing to me. Thank you for putting up with me. And I will see you guys again very soon. I love you. Bye.